Employees of U.S. Auto Sales get a shock when asked to leave work last Monday as 39 dealerships abruptly closed in the Southeast. It's a lot. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Well, just a short time after reporting the fall of American Car Center, another used car dealership chain seems to be biting the dust. <laughs> The future of U.S. auto sales is uncertain as many factors seem to have led the company to, as it says, temporarily close its 39 dealership locations across six different states, including Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Alabama. How temporary it is remains to be seen. Also, in typically classy car dealership way of communicating, executives sent out an email last Monday uh -huh. which shocked employees to finish what they were working on, clock out, and leave the facility. I'm not laughing at the message. I'm simply laughing at how stupid the method of communication is. Yeah. So essentially, here's the boot. Yeah, pretty much. 11 Alive reported that employees received an email that read, I regret to inform you that effective immediately for the next 48 hours, we must temporarily close all of our dealership locations and temporarily pause our retail operations, including our BDC, underwriting, and reconditioning. If you're currently working in one of these areas, please finish what you're doing, clock out, and leave the facility. Boom. Ouch. <laughs> Following the surprise announcement of this so-called temporary 48-hour closure, the company said, our loan servicing operations will remain open and continue to support our customers. So if you bought your car there, you'll still be able to contact the payment center. But here we are, and it's a week later, and there's still no sign of life at the U.S. auto sales stores. Not the very lights temporary. Yeah, yeah. The lights were turned off and signs were posted on all doors notifying the public that dealerships are temporarily closed. As I said, it's well beyond the 48-hour window the company put in its original emails to its team last Monday. 11 Alive News sent several emails to the company's media inquiries email, but as of late last Thursday night, no response or statement had been received regarding the current status of the U.S. auto sales. My guess is that the closing is about as temporary as the American Car Center closing was. Right. Employees and managers speaking to 11 Alive News asked to remain anonymous, saying they're frustrated by the lack of transparency from the executive team regarding the future of their jobs. Yeah, they don't communicate all that well, and no. apparently many dealerships suck at it. A little background here. U.S. Auto Sales states on its website it was founded in Lawrenceville in 1992. The company describes itself as providing pre-owned automobiles to those who might not be able to purchase a vehicle through traditional means. We have proudly helped thousands of people into quality vehicles and onto their feet. This was another buy here, pay here dealer. The subprime dealership offered on-site financing, but typically had higher interest rates targeting borrowers with low credit scores. Goizeta Business School professor Rohan Ganduri chimed in on the subject saying, most of these operations are financed by debt. Pretty much. Pretty much. U.S. auto sales is owned by a private equity firm. Ganduri went on to say, they take on a lot of leverage. They're after very high rates of return they promise to their investors. So they've taken on a lot of leverage and taken on a lot of risk. Well, this is by design. In recent months, the used car industry has taken a few hits. What's often been the case in dealerships like this is that they have many loans on the books that were for much more than the actual value of the vehicle was. That's right. So, for example, if a vehicle has an actual cash value of $13,000 and yet the loan is more like $20,000, the company is showing they are lending out six dollars or $7,000 more than what is the worth of the car. And that portion of it is essentially uncollateralized, unsecured debt. So when someone defaults, six to seven grand is gone in the sense that there is no recourse, there's no collateral backing it. Poof, it's gone. Like a fart in the wind. If the borrowers don't pay their loans, then U.S. auto sales has nothing left to pay off their debt. The company gets left with little choice. They either make their payments on these debts or they have to restructure or file for bankruptcy or just go out of business. <laughs> with the economy being what it is with high inflation, among other factors, none of it is helping things for this subprime dealership. We've also seen interest rates go up. Along with everything else, it's eating into people's budgets. Everyone is hurting, but especially the people with low credit scores who these subprime auto dealerships have focused on. As of late last week, the future of U.S. auto sales and its employees remain uncertain. Possible deals may be happening behind closed doors to correct the issue. They may be trying to see how they can survive and how they can restructure or if they can get a lifeline of some kind, like an equity investment from a foolish investor <laughs> willing to put in some money. 
Uh, uh, the most important thing to note for anyone who did buy a vehicle from the company is that if you have a loan from U.S. Auto Servicing, you need to continue to make your loan payments. While this closing is still considered temporary, their loan servicing operations are still up and running. This is the second subprime auto dealership that has run into troubles in recent months. It was just a few short months ago that we covered American Car Center shuttering its company and closing dozens of dealerships across the southeast with many in the metro Atlanta. That's a wrap, my friends, on a short show today. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on the announcement of an all-new car buying process coming soon. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. Friends, we are onboarding new subscribers at a very rapid pace right now as a result of our overwhelming positive response to the announcement of the soon-to-be hassle-free way of car shopping. Text or email us here to get on the list to be notified when it goes live. If you're one of the newest subscribers, welcome. Welcome. Also, thanks to our many faithful followers for coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.